While you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. That stuff y'all do in the church, it ain't been exposed. Yes, you can't make your hands on man one of these brothers out here yeah. and knock the devil out of them. Look at this wickedness that's going on out here right now. You should be laying hard hands on everybody out here. You ain't laying the hands on nobody. I'm, I'm gonna show you something. Do you know what the laying the hands was actually talking about? What is the, what is the laying the hands talking about? Cause Christ, get that in Hebrews 6. You know if the land of hands ain't talking about this, bro, I pray for you, this, that, and the third, and all that, and I'm shaking him, and he do this, and, and then a devil come out of him. You know what the land of hands really going into, right? Land of hands on a scapegoat, confess, confessing, having him confess his sins as I lay my hands on a scapegoat, and killing the scapegoat. Now you scared of me, you don't know what you're talking about, Pastor. Hey, Pastor. Look, Pastor, 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 the book of First John, chapter two and verse three. And hereby we do know that we know him. Say, hereby we do know that we know him. Man. If we keep his commandments. Why you ain't keeping his commandments? Is the commandments done away with? Is the commandments done away with? How do I get the kingdom here? How do I get the kingdom here? How do I repent? Repent from what? What is sin? Okay, what laws? Which commandments? Do we keep the Sabbath? When is the Sabbath day? I already got on about his bird. <laughs> hey, you know you a hypocrite? Now nah, I'm going to show you something. Give me that in uh, Matthew 23. One to the hypocrite. You know you a hypocrite, right? No, nah, you a hypocrite. How you going to sit up there and say, Hey, look. Hey, everything you said. He just learned that out here for me. I showed him what sin was. I showed him that sin was the transgression of the law. He's too proud. He's too proud. Yeah, he's powerful. He don't want to say he's learning. He don't want to say he's learning. Look, you said in order to be saved, look, in order to be saved, we got to confess our sins and repent from our sins, right? So why you ain't repent? Look at your face. Do you do an old man supposed to have not a bird? Although you might be nice looking and this, that, and the third, your beard gone. You look like you got a baby face. You look like a whole Eminem out here, Papa. Yeah. The book of 1 John, chapter 2 and verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. If, what is the works of the flesh? Because you said works of the flesh. Get that in Galatians 5 and 18. I'm going to show you that you work in the flesh. For real. Right, like right now. You know what spirit you moving in? Seditious. Sedition. That's your, that, that's your sin right now, sedition. Sedition is your sin right now at the moment. Huh? Sedition. Meaning causing an uproar. You doing this thing. Nah, we ain't doing nothing. We teach you repentance. Look, man. we teach you repentance. But what my sin is? Your sin is hung up and disobeying God. How? What I do to disobey God? Is that all right? I have been born again. How do I be born again? I did repent of my sins. Hey, look, I used to shave my beard on my face. I grew my beard out. I used to make bonnets on my head. I don't make bonnets on my head. I didn't wear fringes. I didn't wear fringes. Now I wear fringes. I did keep the Sabbath day. Now I keep the Sabbath day. I used to, yes, I'm married. What, who? We don't wear rings. Because that's an Egyptian custom. The ring don't got nothing to do with marriage. I'm going to show you something. This is what we all want. Show me in the Bible. Show me in the Bible. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Because we represent an organization. It's called order. It's called order and unit. Give me that in Toby. It's the men of covenant. Look, this is what God commanded us to do. Look, when it comes to marriage, we don't wear rings. That's an Egyptian custom. 
We always had marriage papers. Now you want to see my marriage papers? Cause just cause I ain't got a ring on, that don't mean I ain't married. A ring don't represent marriage. Then, I'm gonna tell you something, read that. The book of Tobit, chapter seven and verse 13. Then he called his daughter Sarah, and she came to her father, and took her by the hand, and gave her to be wife to Tobias, saying, Behold, take her after the law of Moses. They say, take her after the law of Moses, read. And led her away to thy father, and he blessed them, and called Edna his wife, and took paper. And took paper. So when I married my wife, I went down there to the Chevy County. Look, listen, I went to the Chevy County office to get a marriage license. And took paper and did write an instrument of covenant and sealed it. Yeah, I got a marriage license. I have a marriage license. Yes, I have a marriage license. Now what else? I did not tell you, I went downtown, got my marriage license. Got it signed, officiated by marriage officiant, so I'm married. So now, what is my sin? What else is my sin? What is my sin? The point, uh, so you asking me who I'm married to? No, I'm married. I'm married. Okay, now look, so now look, you said you was going to show me my sin. You asked me, did I have a wife? I said, yeah. You said, what a ring at? I said, we don't use rings. That ain't our custom. Our custom is to get a marriage license. Okay. Oh, that's our custom. So I got a marriage license. So what is my sin? What is my sin? Yeah, these are this is our custom. Yes, yes. Why are you trying to mind? Why, what? What does her got to do with any damn thing? All right, give me number chapter fifteen, verse thirty-eight. Thank you, bro. I'll tell you, man. I'll pray. Well, I'll tell you. The same guy too is working today, bro. Number fifteen, verse thirty-eight. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Speak unto the children of Israel and bid them that they make them fringes. You see that? That's a commandment. Bid them that they make them fringes, read. In the borders of their garments. In the borders of their garments, read on. Throughout their generations. Throughout their generations. I've been born again. I told you I've been born again by the word of God. Why am I filled with the word of God? I can go to scriptures and answer your questions. But you get poor. You got your devil crown. Oh, Where the devil crown is? So what crown is this then? It's mixed. Is it was what? It's mixed. <laughs> Man, you crazy as hell. Hey. <laughs> so what crown is this? This ain't the devil crown? No, I can't tell. But we the devil though for sure, right? Yeah. No, you said we the devil. So you mean to tell me what we doing? Reading the Bible. Girl. Remember, everything you done asked me, I done used the scripture to explain myself. I gave you the clause, prayer. It's Matthew 6. We read it. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Christ said when you pray, that's the matter of pray. So look, do I listen to you or listen to Christ? Listen. Do I listen to you or Christ? Do I listen to you or Christ? Look. Listen to me. Do I do what Christ say do? Or do I do what John the Baptist say do? Now look. After you answer my question. After you answer my question. Jesus never has a question. What you say? Jesus never has a Listen to me, man. How could that be his prayer? Listen, listen, listen to me, man. Look. Why is you back on this? We already look. We already showed you what the Lord's prayer was. Now this is my question to you. I'll let you explain yourself. Look, do we got do we follow Christ or do we follow John the Baptist? Do, do we obey Christ or obey John the Baptist? Listen, huh? Okay, do we follow the teachings of Christ or do we follow the teachings of Paul? Which one? Okay, so if Christ say. After this man of pray ye, what do we do? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. 
We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.